Hi, welcome to my class. Today we are going to look at uh, surface development and uh, specifically we are going to look at uh, or to tackle surface development of a cone. Now in short we can uh, just give a, in a nutshell a definition of surface development under technical drawing. Now under technical drawing if you talk about uh, surface development we imply the mapping of 3D surfaces so that we can come up with 2d shapes or we can as well say unfolding a 3d object so that it gives us the 2d faces or two dimensional faces like for example if you want to unfold a cube to come up with the faces it means you are going to have the six faces squares which if you put them together they give you a cube so for this one here we want to draw the development for a cone whose base has been given and also the altitude or the height of the cone has been given now the simple question we are going to look at is draw the development of the lateral surface of the uh, the cone of base diameter 48 millimeters and uh, the altitude of 45 millimeters so in this case first of all we are going to draw a plan which is a circle and this one is also part of the development and thereafter once we we unfold we unfold the curved face we get uh, something close to actually we get a sector and that sector is what normally gives us the the curved face of a cone and then the base is always a circular face so let's start by drawing the plan which is a circle of radius uh, 24 so I'm going to take the dimension of 224, 24 millimeters as our radius and then we draw our circle. Now this is our circle. We can have the vertical axis or the vertical center line because we have drawn the horizontal center line and the vertical one will also give us, give us the axis that will form part of the front elevation which will be a, a, a triangular shaped so we can complete this axis up so that is the vertical axis which is also going to form part of the front elevation for our cone once we have that we can say let's have our xy plane or our baseline somewhere here so this is our xy then we project vertically upwards so that we get our base for our triangular elevation So once we have that, we are going to name so that this one is A, B, C, D, and this one is A, this is B, D, and this is C. Then from here, we are going to measure the altitude, which is 55 millimeters. So here is our 55 and now we join we join to A we also join to C good now what we have is the development uh, for the plan and now this curved face which is appearing to be a triangle in real sense not just a triangle but it's a, it forms the curved uh, part of the cone. Now how do we develop so that we cut it out until it spreads out to form a, 
transformer development that will appear in the shape of a sector. So we have to, to know that we need to have what we call the true length. And the true length in this case is O, C, and the, or, or what we call this land height. And this one, the vertical height is the altitude. So we can uh, bring this line to start somewhere because we are going to cut it along OC. So I want to have a line that is parallel to this, starting somewhere below here, because if we develop our face, it might go through up to the head line. So we can bring this. And then we move it. So I'm going to start my drawing somewhere there. So that now this one is my O. Then we carry the distance OC. At O, then we make the arc. Now we do not know how far it's, it's going, not until we get the angle that is subtended by that particular arc. How do we get the angle that is subtended by that arc? It means we are going to calculate, and now our formula is angle theta equals to r over true length multiplied by 360 degrees where r is our radius and we have it as 24 divide by true length multiplied by 360 in this case our true length is the hypotenuse of this triangle and hypotenuse is normally given as the squared times height uh, plus uh, height squared square root. So in this case, it is 24 squared plus uh, 55, which is the altitude square, square root of that, and then square root of this, H gives us 60. And therefore, we can say our angle theta equals to 24 all over, 60 multiplied by 360 decrease and this one comes to angle theta 144 decrease so we are going to measure angle 144 using your protractor to transfer it here so right from here 144, this is 90, 100, 110, 120, 144 is here. Then we shall be able to join from here. Once we have done that, that means this angle is 144. So we shall name this as C. We are cutting it along this slope. So that one means it's also C. Now, we have to also include these other uh, points, B and D and A. How do we do it? Because there are four quadrants, we are going to divide this length or arc length into four equal parts. How do we do it? And it means we have to divide this angle 144 into four equal parts. And this one gives us that six degrees so we can bring our set square and we measure the first that six so the first that six is here and then next is 72 we add that six on on there so this is 72 
to continue and to give us 108 108 So those are four parts, and now we can name them as B, C, D, A, B, C. So this one becomes our development for our cone. Now we only need to join. So this other part we are going to join using a French curve. So we continue joining. For the circular part we are joining with the French curve so that it gives us the circle. Preview. So that's all that we needed to have as a development for the uh, corn that we've been given. Thank you very much for watching. Preview. Kindly subscribe.